if you're not careful, social media will definitely turn into a contest of you ultimately fighting yourself, fighting the algorithm, fighting for likes. So today, what we're going to dive into, I'm going to show you how you don't have to fight for likes, but ultimately, you can utilize social media to get what you want. To Young Ball Podcast. <laughs> But anyway, what I wanted to talk about today, what I want to talk about today is business media versus social media, right? Because I, I, one of my first business coaches, his name was Kendall Ficklin, and Kendall told us, he said, you have to understand the difference between social media and business media. John, what does that mean? Break it down. Don't worry, I got you. So when we talk about social media, we think Instagram, we think TikTok, we think Twitter, we think these different platforms, and it's utilized for us to socialize with people, build connections, build relationships, connect with people all over the world, and all of those things. However, we have to be very intentional how we connect with people on social media, because if we continue to connect with people on social media, and I've been guilty of this, I'll go first. I've been guilty. Getting on to see how many comments I can get, see how many likes I can get, see how many followers I can get. And by doing these things, this ultimately is a vanity metric, which if not intentionally and strategically done, the only thing it will lead to is comments, follows, and likes. And those things don't always necessarily convert to dollars and cents. And it's not all about money, right? So if you're out there like, John, this is all about money. No, it's not all about money. But what I do want you to understand is if you're not intentional, having a lot of followers, having a lot of comments and having a lot of likes, that's going to just lead to more of those things. Just like we saw the young lady, I'm not sure how long ago, but she had over a million followers, I believe, on Instagram, and then she couldn't even sell a $20 t-shirt. If you never train your audience, you never train your followers, you never introduce to them the opportunity for them to invest in something, for them to purchase something, for them to give you money or do business with you, which is the exchange of goods and services for a set fee, for a flat fee, then you're at fault. Here's what I'm saying. If you've listened to this podcast more than one time before, more than likely you've heard me advertise the five-day podcast challenge, right? Then I've also talked about my webinar or my masterclass. I said you can go to getpaidwithpodcasting.com and you can sign up for my masterclass. After my masterclass and after my five-day challenge, I present an opportunity for individuals who say, John, this was great training, this was great teaching, but I need to know more. I need you to coach me through. I need you and I want to hear your feedback, your thoughts, your opinions. Then I present an offer to where they can sign up or to where they might say, no, that's not the offer for me. I'm good. And either way, I just want you to know if you don't put offers out there, then nobody will ever take an offer from you. If you never attempt to sell anybody anything, then nobody will ever attempt to buy anything. So that's why, you, like I said, you've heard me uh, offer the five day podcast challenge. You've heard me also offer the master class. And then now you've heard me talk about this NFT, which you can purchase. It's all on you. You don't have to buy it. Or you could. Hey, I'm fine either way, but I just want to present the opportunity, right? And then there's other products that, you know, you've heard me speak of while I've been on the show and different things like that. But when it's social media, we're just being social. We're not doing business. It's social, right? So we have to be very careful and we got to draw that line in the sand. But then on the other side, where it's business media, right? Where we go online and we go online with the purchase of presenting our product to somebody. We go online seeing who we can serve at the highest level 
and seeing who we can really help. And then if we know we can help that individual, then, hey, let them know about the link in the bio, right? Just like I've done with my book before I did, people can get my, my podcasting book. I say, get my book for free. You just got to help me pay for the shipping. I'm presenting an opportunity to somebody who might want to purchase it because in the book, I walk through the process of how you can start a podcast, right? Start, launch, monetize, and market a podcast, all that good stuff. But when we talk business media, the focus is not just to get people to comment, but get people to engage so that we can see deeper or so that we can begin to expose their need deeper. And then once we begin to expose their need, then we can provide a solution. And if you have the ability, the skill set, the knowledge, the intellect to provide a solution to somebody, then that means you should be compensated for it. And you can be compensated for it, but only if you make the extension of the offer. Does that make sense? So we got to be very careful when we talk about social media versus business media, because in 2022, there's a lot of people getting a whole lot of likes. There's a lot of people getting a whole lot of followers. But just because somebody follows you is one thing. Getting somebody to trust you, getting somebody then to say, I like your teaching style, you're adding value, then getting somebody to take out their wallet and then getting somebody to hit the buy button, that's a process. It doesn't just happen overnight. You're not just going to get somebody to say, oh, I want to buy from you, just off a whim. And if that does happen, kudos to you because you've already done these four things in the process to help people. You've already helped somebody trust you, maybe because what they've seen of you, heard from you in an interview, and maybe they might trust the other individual that interviewed you, right? Then the second part is if they like how you teach, right? E.T., Dr. Eric Thomas, he's yelled at people for years. He's a motivational speaker and people have done business with him because they like his style. I liked his style growing up. I still tap in with E.T., but it just makes sense, right? Because eventually I said, I'm willing to buy something of his. Then I bought a book. Then I said, I'm willing to buy something of his and I bought a ticket to a conference. So at the end of the day, if we're going in with the intention of doing business, then we need to lead with our business hat on versus leading with our sociable hat, right? You can be social, that's fine. But just know that just because you're social with somebody and then you decide to make the switch to want to do business, it's not always going to convert. But if you lead with business, then when it's time to do business, they already know what time it is because you've been talking about it the whole time. So then they can cash you out. Right. Well, family, until next time, peace. God bless.